all right so as we all know inter milan won their copa italia yesterday um it was really really tough a very very tough match of which some people say the other guys were robbed their opponents but either ways we're going to check out the formation and tactics they use in winning this for me in this copa italia rather so the formation is um 5-3-2 sorry 3-5-2 actually it's looking like this recent formation but this is not the formation guys this is not the formation trust me and um, zaggy is doing a very very good work in inter milan so i just decided to show you guys what he's doing actually or what i think he's doing because yeah it's, it's very very insane now we have jeko there with martinez up front we have dimaco on the left midfield left wing back rather and um, mkhitaryan didn't play so he's like a it's like a flat line midfield let me see if i can reconstruct it so basically this is what it looked like yeah this is what the the um formation looked like but if you are trying to look at how they really played it looked like this so this guy is more like deep in the midfield but he's still a center midfielder but he's doing defensive work of a center dm sorry a cdm and a midfielder at the same point mkhitaryan didn't play of course so we have um Chalanoglu, we have barella we have brozovic mkhitaryan is on injury skenner didn't play bastoni achevi and damian when the um center backs now damian is playing the right wing back um this guy is playing center back don't ask me how because this is this is the formation they use obviously yeah you can see don here as well he's also playing the right wing back so yeah it's a kind of it's a kind of uh, misformation, formation but this is the formation they use lukaku was on the bench as well so yeah and handanovic was the keeper in this match onana didn't play i think they're keeping him for the finals of the europa sorry of the uefa champions league i'm used to europa, europa with inter milan either ways this is the formation they use so now i'm going to show you how they moved in the match because it was very very simple and basic logic basically so yeah you can see um lateral martinez going up and coming down because he has the strength to do that jeko was on the other hand just going up he was like the target man in the team so yeah we couldn't we shouldn't call him out for that dimarco has a lot and a lot of strength so he's going up and coming down bastoni can't do that just covering for him and going right and um left as Shelby was going right and left as well damian was going right and left damian overlapped sometimes basically but most times he was on the right side you know not like overlap he was just going to the right wing back right back yeah as his normal position but he was playing center back too so that is right and left barella was going up and down too yeah barella almost had like a free room in the team so yeah that was basically his position up and down alanoglu and brozovic we are like the main center midfielders in the team covering up for, Bar for barella anytime he goes up and then we see don frisch don frisch going up and coming down so he has a lot of strength so a lot of times he he went up but not as much as dimarco dimarco was outstanding bro dimarco is just always overlapping and it's crazy and let me show you how they play in the match so you can see the ball here with antanovic they are reshaping their formation now yeah just watch brozovic shaping his formation to play with Chalanoglu. now the ball goes to damian and then goes to Dumfries. now Dumfries gives it to barella barella gives to brozovic brozovic is the person that always sees the passes so he can decide to give it to jeko or he can decide to give it to lateral martinez and then they scored and now <laughs> yeah that's how they scored the first goal i guess giving it to lateral martinez now you can see again damian floating the ball to jeko as his target man Martinez dropping deep to give it to Dimarco and bang. This was their game plan, obviously. Not not anything techy. This is how they really really played. Not to forget that um Dimarco really really overlaps. So you see him in the box a lot. And it's just like a crossing and nodding game. So they couldn't go through the middle and they just did the cross and not game. Very, very easy. So back to FIFA now. <laughs> very, very easy tactics to use, I swear. Balance style and um, the width was not wide. It was kind of narrow obviously because they are playing with the 352 so it was kind of narrow the depth uh, obviously too was let me just put in 50 because yeah, it was more like a balanced depth now it's not a fast build up play it's more of a long ball and forward runs this is what they use long balls and forward runs making jeko do a lot of work giving and um, switching from lanes cutting out passing lanes as well switching lanes obviously players in the box you are not too much just like two corners also um corners also they had like four players in the box and then free kicks as well they had like four players in the box so yeah this is what they used their set piece was very very good and second goal as well was from lataro to from the midfield just a cross into the box that's why i say it was very very easy now you can see tejeko is his target man 
target player rather martinez was playing like a mixed attack i won't give him the first night player because he was not the first night player he can't play first night the marco on the other hand yeah he was in basic defense support staying wide obviously and then he was coming short for the ball so he wasn't getting behind obviously he was coming short for the ball sorry he was getting behind sorry he was getting behind obviously yeah because he was really really inside the box anytime they attack and yeah basically he was doing his, his job very very well don't freeze on the other hand was <coughs> was coming short for the ball and he was also staying wide so we didn't really see him in the box like that but if he's for crosses he's there he gets so no glue on the other hand was Cut, it was balanced on the cross, you know. Um, attack, he wasn't really getting forward, it was balanced as well. He was covering the wing, same thing with Brozovic. Brozovic was covering the center, yeah, and he was sticking to his position. He was not attacking when they were attacking, so he wasn't getting to the box for the cross. Sorry, he was staying back while attacking basically and leaving Barella to have a free room in the in the in the center midfield so Barella was going up front and then he was also covering the wing leaving Brozovic to cover the center and Chalonoglu covering the other wing Dimako I've already talked about Dimako Bastoni, Ashebi and Damian doing the normal center back duties but Damian on the other hand was stepping up obviously was stepping up into some passing areas and cutting out some passing lanes you know he's a right back so he knows he has the pace and everything so this is how they really played in my books